I'm not saying it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm gonna wreck it, fuck it. Today on Reader's Reviews, I review Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Or Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Whichever one's actually correct. So the story takes place six years after the original and Ralph and Vanellope are as thick as thieves by now. And after the arcade owner installs a Wi-Fi system in the arcade, something happens to Vanellope's game that threatens her livelihood. So with these various video game characters now having access to the internet, Ralph and Vanellope go into the internet in order to fix the problem to make sure that her game is complete. And shenanigans ensue. Now readers, I'm not gonna lie, there is a portion of this plot that I feel very nitpicky over, but as far as everything else, it was pretty solid. There's an actual legit reason why Vanellope and Ralph have to go into the internet, which I'm incredibly thankful for, because I just thought they were just like, they installed a Wi-Fi system? Let's go into the internet! Or even worse, they decided to go into the internet because somebody told them not to. And even better, while both Vanellope and Ralph are in the internet, they show tremendous potential for character development. Which has a lot to do with the main moral of the story, which is handling your insecurities. And after watching the movie, I felt that both Vanellope and Ralph's character development regarding that theme was handled pretty nicely, because it focused on both the healthy way of dealing with it and the toxic ways of dealing with it in a way that children and preteens can properly understand. A bit cheesy at times, but you have to remember, this is this is a children's movie. This is aimed at young kids. However, if I were to choose on which of the two characters handled the theme or did a good job at like giving, relaying the message of the theme of not being so insecure and like learning to let go of things, as far as it translating on screen more, I would have to say it revolved more around Ralph than Vanellope. And despite both characters getting the same amount of screen time regarding their own arcs over the course of this movie, it felt that because Ralph's version of his of how he handled his insecurities over the course of the movie as far as the theme of insecurities went, it felt that his point of view took more priority, if you know what I mean. Which I'm not really complaining about at all. The movie was always going to be focused on Wreck-It Ralph because it's a Wreck-It Ralph movie. If anything, I'm just glad that Vanellope's point of view had a bit more focus outside of being the secondary character that she was in the first one. She got equal screen time and she got equal closure as far as like her overall arc, which I'm happy about. But it leads me to my main gripe about the movie, which is how the plot was handled or at least the execution of the plot. And the way it was handled reminded me a lot of Daredevil Season 2. And I say Daredevil Season 2 because this movie kind of plays out how Daredevil Season 2 went. The first half of Daredevil Season 2 focused on Matt Murdock slash Daredevil vs. The Punisher, while the second half of Daredevil Season 2 focused on Matt Murdock slash Daredevil and Elektra vs. The Hand, with very little connections in between to make the entire season feel like one completely fleshed out story. While I'm sure it was not their intention, Wreck-It Ralph kind of felt the same way. While they did go into the internet with a single goal in mind, halfway through the movie, the way that Vanellope and Ralph's arcs intermingled felt like as if that this was supposed to be its own movie. And while I'm sure that's not the intention, it definitely felt like pieced together at certain bits to make me feel as if that was the initial case. But other than that, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, or... Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2 was a solid flick. Despite it still being about Wreck-It Ralph, Vanellope got equal screen time and equal progression in her character. And the way that they handled both healthy and toxic means of dealing with insecurities was very well done for a kid's flick. I would definitely say that people who are fans of Wreck-It Ralph 1 or just have kids and want to take them to go see a movie should definitely check this out. I personally say it's a matinee flick, but it's still worth seeing in theaters. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below what you thought of Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, or Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2, if you've seen it. If you want to help support the channel, you can purchase official merchandise by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.